Heat TV presents Homework Hotline, the after-school show that fuses learning with fun. Watch local teachers bring the classroom on air and online. This is Homework Hotline. Welcome to Homework Hotline. My name is Pam Halstead and I taught science at Fortuna High School. My name is Amy Taylor and I teach 7th and 8th grade math at Sunny Bray Middle School in Arcata. Yay! We're so we're glad to be here together yes. and it's been a while, Amy. Yes. It seems like. But yes. yay uh, for today we have a really cool math show. Yes, and I I picked something cuz I know a lot of us are in CASP slash SBAC testing currently mm. in terms of math, language arts and science. All of those are happening. I know at my school right now, I'm sure they're happening everywhere right now. And so I thought measures of central tendency and looking even a little bit of the science, which mixes in, because when you take data, that's real life. And then that's good practice because that stuff comes up on those tests. And so oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> good review reminder. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice. So I decided to, I'm going to start off with the heights, average some nice numbers, and then you can help me okay. like add and do different things with it. Sounds good. But I decided I was going to figure out kind of the average and kind of the middle of the heights of my own children and my sister's children, which are my niece and nephews. But I'm going to leave out the little baby, which is baby Matthew. He's almost eight years old, because we're going to create him as an outlier so we can see what happens with mean and median with an outlier, which doesn't necessarily fit the data. It's an eight-month-old. So I'm going to start off with... So I'm going to list it, actually, I could, I'll just put it in any order. It's nice to see them in any order because it doesn't really matter. So we'll start off with my family, which um, my son Cooper is about five feet. My daughter Caitlin's about five feet. My son Colton's about five and a half feet. My niece Grace is about four and a half feet. And my nephew Samuel's about three and a half feet. And this is a four-year-old, an eight-year-old. A 12 and a 13 year old and the 11 year old is tallest, but that's just how that works, the five and a half feet. So anyway, and then how many am I, how many people am I dividing by in terms of approximate height to the nearest half a foot? The total number is five. Five. And so we're just going to add these up. These are kind of nice. We can add up on our hands or line it up, but we don't even need a calculator. because no. These are the, well, that's these right. are like we half. Don't. I did You're it on right. purpose. So like okay, good. five and a half plus four and a half plus three and a half, mm -hmm. and then plus five, plus five. Reasonable. My next one, when I do like more data, when you have more data or bigger numbers, mm -hmm. then you want to do, calculators are helpful. So the first is 15, so nice. five okay. at carry, six, 10, 13, 18, uh, 18, 23. Yep. Because I did it ahead of time. Okay, <laughs> good. So we know that we have 23 and a half, and do you know the other word for mean, like what, what mean? average yeah mean or average and basically you're finding out if we took all of the, those heights and we kind of split them all up and we saw oh between all of them where would we be in the in the middle of averaging them all that's why you take all five of them add them up and divide by five so we can find out the average of all of these things so we take the 23.5 and we divide by five which is, and we can do that right here. We'll do this, it'll be all works. Okay. It's nice to practice basic division and addition. It is. Especially with decimals. That's also CASP testing. Cool. And then five goes into? 24, I mean four times. Uh, 20, yeah, 23, yeah, we'll do 23. Four, okay, 23, sorry. Yeah, oh, that's All right. It's close to 24. Okay, so that's seven. So 4.7, so their average height is about 4.7 feet, which I figured, Three quarters of a foot, nine inches. Two thirds of a foot, 0.6 repeated is eight inches. So basically eight and a half inches. So basically, if you have a five and a half foot person, two five foot people, four and a half foot person, a three and a half person, their average height would be basically almost four and three quarters, um, almost that many feet, which is getting close to four and a half or, or even up towards five feet because we have a lot of that, those kind of taller heights. Mm -hmm. So that's our average mean. Then for the median, do you know what the word median means? It means middle. Yeah, middle. Do you know where we, 
or at least me driving here, where you would see a median. Oh, in the middle of the road, that's right. And yeah, and especially in the middle of the freeway, you have to have at least so much grass, or if you have concrete, that's the middle median. They yes. call it a median. I try to use real life as much as you can. That's good. Where these words come mm -hmm. from. Um, so we have to put it in order from least to greatest. You don't have to. You could do greatest to least, but we usually do least to greatest. So you can see kind of build up. Mm -hmm. And what would mm -hmm. what would come first? Three point five. Yep. Then four point five. Yeah. Oh, I put. Well, that's why I have an eraser. <laughs> is, of course, of like, course. <laughs> All right, we com. Now we're doing the combo. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Four point five. Yep. Five. Five. Five point five. So now I kind of go like this when I do medium, kind of go one each. I don't know if there's a better way, but I feel like then we've gone in two from this left mm -hmm. and right side. And that middle number is? Five. Which means what about their heights? That um, when you take the middle number of all their heights, five is that number. Yeah, it's right in the middle. And they give you that, they do the median a lot of times when they're talking about house housing prices. Oh, yeah. Which can be really helpful because if you look at sometimes housing, super low, super high, and if you did the mean, it would be some oh, it inaccurate. It could be way higher, way yes. lower when you're like, there's tons of them right here, which right. just bounce to the middle. Yes. And we'll talk about that. I'm going to do, I'm going to put in baby Matthew, who's eight months old, two feet tall, <laughs> and show you that an outlier does pull on that. So sometimes mm, jumping over those big numbers with the median. So what, there's those couple, few million dollar homes. We don't need, we can jump over them because there's right. way more of those 400,000, unfortunately. Oh, it's mm -hmm. going up by now. But yes. yes. Uh, and then we have two more things. So we have the okay. mode. Yes. You know what the mode is. I you know, used to know uh, what the mode is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, it's close think. to another word. Um, a la mode. No, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I forgot. It's the most. Oh, the most. Of course. The Okay. So the mode. The so highest. which number happens the most? This five. Oh, yeah, five. It's the number that happens and the so most. And so these are called like measures of central tendency. Notice we have 4.7, 5, mm -hmm. and 5. And sometimes I say which is more relevant. And again, it tends to be, not always, but sometimes that median is to jump over here. Mm -hmm. These are pretty close, 4.7, 5, and 5. And the last mm -hmm. one we have is, I'll just use the same color. Okay. We have a range. Do you know what the range is? The range is from low to high or high to low. Mm -hmm. which are the di So how many numbers between yes. the low number to the high number? I always do biggest minus smallest because otherwise okay. you have to take the a absolute value or the positive difference is yes. better because it's easier. Okay, it's not good. better. It's just nice. less steps. Okay, so what is it? So we have 5.5 subtract 3.5. Which is? Which is 2. Mm-hmm. So the range of their heights is about two feet. So if you took my nephew Samuel, who's um, four years old, and you take my son Colton, that, that's the biggest to the smallest, and they're about mm -hmm. two feet apart. Okay. Yeah. Neat. All right, so now we're going to go to the next page and do a similar thing, and we'll come back to this page. We're going to okay. include my n nephew Matthew, who's eight months old, and see what an outlier, because two feet's pretty short mm -hmm. compared to a four-year-old, eight-year-old, 11, 12, 13. Mm -hmm. That's pretty short. So we're going to see what that does. So okay. now instead I'm going to do, and I'm going to go in order at this point because then we can just keep going with okay. it. So we have... Two plus three and a half. Plus five plus four and a half. Five plus five plus five plus 5.5. And now instead we're dividing by how many? Six. Six people. And now this is all my children and my nieces and nephews, all of them. Um, but we have this outlier, this two. That's that's these are pretty close, right? But that's further away. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what that does. Okay. So now we took our 23.5 from our last one and mm -hmm. we just need to add two more. Okay, good. Which so is 25.5. But now instead of dividing by five people, we're dividing by six people. And it does go in not two. Oops, if I can make that. Mm -hmm. It does go in. Um, it goes in okay. I tried them ahead of time. Okay, good. <laughs> I know I'm like six, but it actually <laughs> works out. Perfect. Okay, so how many times is six? See, uh, three. I mean, well, into 25. Am I right? Four. Sorry, yeah. that's 24. No, that's, yeah. that's right. You were on the right track. Well, sure. What's well, in the spur of the moment? <laughs> Only one off. And then six goes into? Five. Fifteen. Oh, 15. Uh, two. Two times six is 12. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put? You got three. Three. Zero, <laughs> Zero which is five, down. which is a five. Yes. So Kay. four and a quarter. But my Kay. mean now is, what is it, 25.5 mm -hmm. divided by 6 mm -hmm. is 4 and a quarter. Yes. Our last mean, I'll put in parentheses, was five. last was 4.7. Oh, 4.7, that's right. So look how that 
Mm. Mean is being pulled down with that outlier. It's not a ton, but 4.7 is closer to 4.5 or even 5, whereas 4.25 is kind of pulled toward. I mean, they're almost a half of a foot apart. Yes. Just because of that, too, which is called it, we'll call it an outlier. It's not a super far outlier. But if you were talking like we were talking houses, you'd have like millions of dollars versus right. Like and and this number 000. can come. So if you had students measuring something and someone made an error, then you had this weird outlier, and you know it wasn't really that. So sometimes in science we eliminate the outlier so that we can actually look at the true numbers. It depends on what's going on. Sometimes outliers give you really good information. Yeah, so it's good to probably have both. Yes, you're like this is with the outlier. Oh yeah, do it with and 4. then do it without. Yeah. Four point two five, and this is without the outlier. Right. And which which data do we want to use mm -hmm. or something like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then for the mean, median, yeah. now we have instead of five numbers, we're going to have six. So that'll change. So we're going to have to it. go halfway between 4.5 and yep, 5. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Which isn't too bad. Okay. So now when we go in, we're going to go one, yeah. two, one, two. And this is good to practice. If you have two numbers in the median, mm -hmm. then what you have to do, which is the middle, mm -hmm. <laughs> Add them and divide by two? Yeah, you have to average them, average them, which is what we were doing with our mean. Oh, I didn't write that. Let's just remind you what we were doing. This was the mean, mm -hmm. which is the average. So in this one, we have to take the average of two numbers because we have two in the middle, which is 4.5 plus 5 divided by 2. Is that 4.75? I'm just guessing. I just made. Oh, 9.5, yes. Well, OK. Yeah, because four. If you think of four dollars and seventy-five cents together, would make eight dollars. And I don't think of money. Okay. But yeah, the old, the last one was uh, five. I think. Yeah, five was yes, our. Yes. Yes. So to me, the median stays pretty close. Pretty close. Yeah. But the mean is where we talk about the sometimes that median jumping over is better. It's too low. You mid, might mid, think if you all you saw was that mean, uh, you'd be like, oh well, these are shorter kids. I mean, yeah, or something. Yeah, if yeah, you didn't yeah, actually yeah. know the data. The numbers. And also the mode, most, what, what is that? The it's still most. Still going to be. Still five, huh? Still five, so yeah. it's the same. That is the same. Same mm -hmm. as last. That doesn't change. Mm -hmm. And then the range, which is the biggest minus smallest, is going to have to change because you have That's smaller. three. Cause you, so oh, wait, no, 3.5. 5.5. Minus two. Minus two, yeah. And the last one was only two. Ah. Our range was two, so that's also what's pulling down the um, that mean is because now look at your range. You have yeah. three and a half feet. You go from my son Colton to my nephew Matthew, you now have a three and a half foot difference yes. instead of a two foot yes. difference. So yeah, it's just interesting. It is. Um, you just have to be that's careful good. that you, actually I'm going to put this back. You have to be careful, yeah, just to look at all the data and see what seems to work best. Mm -hmm. There's my average. Nice. Of those two metal ones, medium. All right, nice. cool. Yeah, <laughs> very cool. Fun. Now we're gonna do um, a different concept, okay. which is we can use the mirror. I got a um, yes a month off of weather underground, which is super cool. You can like go anywhere. <laughs> you just pick a place, yes. and then you can. Um, Find out like May two, 2022, and this is Eureka Arcata. Basically, it's the airport, mm -hmm. Arcata Airport. Mm -hmm. And then you could do anywhere else. But the first through the 16th say actual, and then the 17th on, and it's not the whole month, it the says forecast. forecast. So mm -hmm. we're just going to do the first 16 days, and we're going to look at the temperature high where it says like 56, 55, 59, those. Okay. And then we're going to find out all the average in our county, basically, <laughs> okay. of. Um, the average high temperature and things like that. And I'm also going to show you some plots that are cool. Okay. So you want me to read you the numbers? Sure. Okay, yes, that would good. be great. Okay, good. <laughs> we'll do. So you don't have to do two things at once. Yes. There's, okay, so cool. So we're going to start with mean. All right, let's do the mean. Which is our average. And we're going to use a calculator for this. So once I write it down, we're just going to write the answer. Yes. Okay. Okay, sounds good. 56 plus 55 plus 59, 55, 61, 58, 55. 50, 50, 53, 55, 56, 61, 59, 62, 58. Oh my gosh. Oh, I actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It is right. Okay, perfect. All right. And now <laughs> that that's 16. 
Divide sine by 16. I am going to fix this one. Oh, yeah, because it looks like 80 one. or something. Yeah. So just kind of a That's all right. Pin. That's all right. 55 and 53. Yes. Found all right. Pretend that's a divide sign. So, and then we're dividing by 16 because it's May yes. 1st. Really, literally, this is real data from May 1st to May 16th this year, like yesterday, back to May 1st. Mm -hmm. So it was what? Nine, 903. Divided by 16. Yes. I use the calculator and you can tell me exactly what the full All right. Is. 56 point. Is, is that what you say, point? It's fine, yeah. Okay, fine. <laughs> All right. 56? Yes. Point four three seven five. I do both. It depends. After okay. remote, you know, you try to fit a lot. Things have changed and yes, I'm yes. sure I will eventually go back to that, but okay. we have a lot kids have to learn that they Yes. Miss. So that's about... 56.4 degrees Fahrenheit. That was the average mm -hmm. in Arcata for May 1st through May 16th. Pretty and if you cool. felt a little chilly, you might know why. Yes. And the other thing that makes you chilly is the wind. And we certainly have some oh, wind happening yes, today. Wind. And there's something called the wind chill factor. And for every five or 10, I can't remember, miles, the temperature actually lowers. And you're still so you're feeling. There's a really good uh, a website on my phone that just uh, you click it and it's, uh, it's the weather channels. Oh, okay. Website. And what they do is they tell you, it's 56 degrees, but it but feels, it feels like, like 51. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, something like that. So you're like, oh, oh boy, I better bring a jacket. But if you think it's typically 50 to 60 in Humboldt. <laughs> then it's perfect. It's a temperate place where we live. We have water next to us, and that really makes it so the temperature does not get super high and super low. So we are going to first um, do the mode, because we're going to do a box and whisker pot. So let's okay. first do mode. Um, most, so we can the, see the, the most number that and then we'll happens. go to the median okay. when we do the other part. Oh my gosh, I'm looking at, it's 55, could it be? I yeah, don't it's know. easier when they're in order. Yeah, yeah, but that's okay. And we're going to put them in order on the next All right. page. 55 yeah, four times. Four of them, and then everything else, 56 is like twice. Yeah, not, nah. okay. Yeah. 59 All right. is twice. Okay, yeah. so that's the mode then, 55. So 56, oh, 55. 55. <laughs> It's all right. I know 56. There's a lot of numbers on this thing, Amy. Don't feel bad. I know. 55 five. Five degrees Fahrenheit yes. is the mode. Yes. But now, that's pretty similar it to is. that. Yep. So now we're going to go find the median because there's a, lots of numbers. So okay. we're going to put an order from least to greatest, and I'm just going to... Yes, really yes, like yes. Here we go. Okay, yeah, so I can so read you the numbers. What I do is I, as I go, I cross it off and find it, but you're going to want to make sure what I do, tell students at the end, make sure you have 16. When you're done, like track through and make sure you didn't write like 15 of them. Like, oh, there was that many 55s and you didn't write enough. Okay. Okay. So here we go. So you have two 50s. Okay. You have one 53. You have one, two, three, four 55s. Wait, you said what? Two 50s, one 53. Yes. Four, two, oh, four, four 55s. 55, yeah. Two 256s. Okay. 258. 259, 261. I started writing smaller. <laughs> 162, I know. Woo! You can't help it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yes. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yay. So sometimes when it's this many, I actually go in like a few at a time. Like 1, 2, yeah. 3, 4, 5. 1, sure. 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. Okay. Now we're at one, one. Oh, yay. We're averaging two, 56 two. and 56. There you go. Perfect. We don't have to do any math in that case. That is the median. It's 56 cool. degrees Fahrenheit, which is very similar to, to the 57. Was that what the it was? Oh, no, 55. Four okay. and 55. It I mean, is. they're all pretty close. But close. I would say when you're like, oh, should I use the mean or the median? 56.4. And 56, both. Like, right. it doesn't matter. It's pretty similar. Yeah. Nice. And then the thing we're going to do different is we're going to do a box and whisker plot, which is kind okay. of cool. So now we're going to talk about, do you know what the lowest number is called? If you don't, it's fine. I do not. It's actually just called the minimum. Minimum. Oh, that's easy. And the other one's the maximum? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> so how I tell students just to think about it a little bit more is if you have, like, a dollar, this would be, like, zero cents in the dollar. So the median's what? The median is the... Like 50 cents. 
If you're thinking of a dollar. Sorry, I wasn't paying good attention. No, <laughs> well, what's going to happen with a box and whisker plot is we're going to break it into 25%, which is quarters. Okay. So if it's called a quartile, someone doesn't know what that means, but you know a quarter is 25 cents. So if the minimum's zero pennies and the maximum's a dollar and the median's like 50 cents, then I can go in. 20, 25 would be. Yeah, like 25 cents, which is if you add a dollar, that's your lower quarter. Two in, two in. One in, one in. So this is my lower mm. quartile, which if you had a quarter of money, 25 cents, that would be your lower quarter of your dollar. So okay. just like English, you know, math words, science words, English words. Yes. Um, and so that's going to be the average of 55 and 55 is just 55. 55. Yes. Degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. And then we have right. the upper. Yeah. Upper quartile. quartile. So then that'd be like your, how many, how much money would be the upper quartile? 59. It looks like. Or like how much money in the oh, sorry. technology? Oh, sorry. Yes, it's seventy-five. Seventy-five cents. Because yes. if you had a dollar, your upper quarter mm -hmm. would be seventy-five cents. Yes. Otherwise, it just it's a little too abstract to say upper quartile, because we don't students don't typically talk about quartiles. Right. <laughs> it's just another word that you have to remember. Yeah. All so, right. So now we good. can make our box and whisker plot, okay, which cool. is very cool. So first, this is where you want your range to pop up. I can just do the range here. Okay. The range is going to be the biggest minus the smallest. Yes. Yeah, so we have 62 which, minus 50, which is 12. 12. Now, 12 lines ends up being quite a bit as we try to draw 16. So I'd probably count by twos, but you can count even okay. by fives would be like two. I'd sure. probably count by twos. It's like when you graph, you have to figure out what yeah. you're doing. Yeah. Oops, I don't want it that high up because I have to make all the stuff above it. Okay. <laughs> all right. I always have to look at my paper and be like, how far down do I want to oh, put yeah. each thing? Further down. All right, so we're going to start. I always start below, so I start like at 48, and then you can count by twos with me. Okay, all right, it's 50, yep. 52, mm -hmm. 54, 56, 58, 60. Uh oh, that's no all right. <laughs> Sorry. 62, and that's the top of our number. We want to go, I go higher, I go 64. One, yeah, I just go one okay. higher because right. um, I have to use my eraser here, and I can yes. use it. Oops, that's not an eraser. <laughs> but right. I can also use it at the end. Okay. Yeah, I always go to um, two below and above. I do that with lots of different graphing also because otherwise it gets mushed to the edge. Okay. And it's harder. That's 58. Okay. So now we just put all of our data there, which is super cool. I'll yes. Use a different color. So nice. we need a 50. That's going to be the end of our whisker. Okay. We have 62, yeah, 62, which is the end of our other whisker. Mm -hmm. Our median is going to be the box, the middle of the box, mm -hmm. which is 56. Yes. Then we have 55, which is right next to it, because notice we have a lot of 55 and 56. Oh, yes. Yeah, so and then 59 is here. It's the end of our box. So this is my box. Our mode. Oh, okay. And whisker plot. Oh, I'll that's neat. what it is. I box forgot these things. Uh -huh. And whisker plot. But it's the nice thing about this, and I'll put the numbers in. So this one's 62, 56. I put it below because you wouldn't know that's 55. Okay. Or that you would know that that's 59, and then okay. we have 50. And then I do shortcuts like that's minimum, mm -hmm. maximum. Excellent. I do still write out lower quartile, which I'll, I'll try with this thick pen right here. But because people don't know what like LQ means. <laughs> so if, okay. Like I just write LQ, I'm like, people don't even know what lower quartile is. No one's going to know what LQ yeah, means. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, there we go. So the point of this mm -hmm. is that you have 25% of your data between 50 and 55, pretty spread mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. A lot of data between 55 and 56, that's 25% of your data. 25% mm -hmm. of your data is between 56 and 59, and then 25% of your data. So there's actually something called the inner quartile range. Mm. And that's basically that middle inner quartile range. And that's mm -hmm. that range of that middle 50%. Mm -hmm. I'll put middle 50%. What's okay. the inner quartile range between the middle 50% this to this? Is it 56? 50 what? Oh, wait, the, the range is 55 to 59. Yeah, which is? Oh, minus 59 is 4. 4, whereas our range was what? 12, but the middle of our data, mm -hmm. where that middle 50% is, is 4 degrees versus our whole range is 12 degrees yes. Fahrenheit. So yeah, this is four degrees Fahrenheit is our middle 50% range. And then 12 degrees Fahrenheit is the range from our hottest to our coldest. So this is just a really cool way to look at data mm -hmm. and to look and see how it's, it's laid out so that you can make decisions on what's more important. Yeah, we have what. two more plots that we can look at that we are have. fast plots. 
Oh. Uh, three minutes. Yeah, perfect. Okay, thanks. Like, super fast plots. Nice. Stim and leaf plot is just, it helps if there's more numbers, but it doesn't matter. Okay. You basically have the stim be one place value and the leaf be the other place value, which is oh, right yeah, cool. here. All right, nice. So if I put 50, I go 50, but there's my tens place, ones place. 50, and then what's the next number? 50, oh, three. three. Yes. 55. Five. I remember there's four of them, right? 55, yes, 55, five. 55. Yes. 55 six, six. 56, 56. You're saying, yeah, this is a tens and ones. Yeah, yeah. eight, eight. 58. 58, 58. And then 58. 59, 59. 59, 59, and then 60. Okay. 60 is just 61, 61, 62, I think. Okay, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, nine, so you 10, got 11, it. That's 12, correct. 30, 40, 40. So the point of this, and then you make a key, and the key says like six, one, meaning the stem and the leaves, means 61, so you know that it's tens and ones place and not like ones and tenths place. Mm -hmm. But right there you're like, a lot of 50 degrees. <laughs> like you yes. can just look at that quickly. Yes. Also, look at your mode pops out. Yes, it immediately, does. Immediately, 55. Nice. Mm -hmm. So it's just another representation. The last one's going to be um, a frequency plot, which is Kay. very fast. Good. So that's 49 to 63, but you need the numbers, don't you? 49, 50. 50, 51. Oh, my 50s get funny. It's 52, fine. 53. 54, oh, 55, you're just doing it all the way to 63. <laughs> Got yep, 57. Okay. Neat. 50. I like this one, the frequency plot. 59. I'm close, right? Yeah, 61, 60. 61, 62, 63. Go to 63. Okay. <laughs> Yay. It might okay. be a little squished in the key, but it's all good. Okay. How many 50s yeah. do we have? Two. Two. Oh, this is called a free Quinn. C plot. It's called mm -hmm. other things too, but it's how many there are. And then mm -hmm. how many fifty threes? Yes. One. Oh, there's one. Yes, and oh, fifty five no, four. Super good. Fifty five four. Uh, four fifty yes. fives will slow down a little bit. Four fifty fives. Not the right symbol. This is really cool when you're doing things like population studies. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, let's yeah. finish this. Fifty six. Okay, sure. Got it. Fifty six two. two. Yeah. Fifty eight two. That's over my fifty nine no. two. <laughs> 61, 2, and then 62 <laughs> is 1. Kay. Well, you can see the blue over the red, but basically, really quickly, you're like, ooh, mode, 55. You're like, ooh, I have a lot in this little 55 mm -hmm. through 59. There's your, like, inner quartile range. You can almost see that mm -hmm. just by looking at that mm -hmm. chart without making a box and whisker plot. Yes. Not many in the 60s and not many low down to 50. And it's easier because you're just going 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah. rather than writing down exactly what the... Yeah, so the stem and leaf plot is just looking at, ooh, tens, the, each 10 the spot. Tens. Yeah. Here we have the frequency, and then we have our box and whisker plot that gives us our 25% and our quarters, like how we have 25% of each section, so. Mm -hmm. That's great. I'll put it back there. Neat. Yeah, like so it. yeah, it's really cool with population. We did weather, we did height, you can do shoe size. Companies do it to figure out which shoes to sell the companies. Yes. Like, oh, most people have this. Outliers are this. We'll sell, buy, sell less of those, but if you work for companies. Yes, it's super yes. important. And thank you for tuning in, and good luck on all your state testing. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Oh my gosh, you guys. Thank, Thank you, you so bye. much. It was great to see you again.